Welcome back to Anime Fight Club, everyone. We are back with Hanmobaki or Grapplobaki, the uh, manga associated with seasons one and two of the anime. And we're finally at the end of the fight between Baki and Hanayama, and none other than Yujiro, the ogre, has shown up. So let's go ahead and finish this volume. We're doing chapters 123 through 125 today. Um, chapter 123 entitled The Man Who Was On Time. We get cool images of young Baki and uh, Yujiro at his age now. I don't really look too similar in that image. So here Yujiro was still above this chopper, well aboard this chopper, looking down on the building where his son and Hanayama were fighting. That man took that single step as if he was going down the stairs of his own house. So Yujiro just stepped out of the the helicopter like it was nothing. No fear, no nothing. He grabbed the rope on his way out and he's free falling. No parachute, no room for mistakes, nothing. So he wraps this rope around both hands it looks like. Pulls it so that it's taut. His eyes glare over as he sees his target. Still falling down. And then, okay, he's falling past the floor that Baki already fell out of. He throws his rope, there's a grappling hook on the end of it, through that already broken window. See it flying through here. That was an awesome fight. You did great, kid. As Baki's lying on his back enjoying <laughs> his post-coital bliss. Uh, Yujiro throws the rope inside, the grappling hook wraps around one of the steel beams. Yujiro pulls it tight and snatches himself up onto the floor that Baki and Hanayama are on. Lands ever so gracefully <laughs> and looks menacingly at everyone who has eyes on him. Baki looks over, sees his dad, everyone else is shocked. And Hanayama finally gets to see Yujiro for the first time. Those who were closest to him were unable to move as panic gripped their hearts and fear rendered them motionless. The gallery that happened to be there knew that something or someone amazing was standing before them. F father So both Baki and Hanayama appear shocked. Hanayama looks to be trying to get on his feet. Yujiro just smiles. But why? Who is that? Huh? Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. Hanma Yujiro! So Hanayama yells that, no teeth, just blood going in between both sets of gums. So Hanayama's on his feet. The left hand, both third and fourth metacarpal bone have complex fractures. The right hand, the first, fourth, and fifth fingers all have complex fractures on their proximal phalanx and the middle phalanx judging from his pronunciation and the outline of his jaw it's broken in several places from his canine to his molars baki the damage to the elbow joint and the surrounding muscle is as if he was hit by a claw inside the cavity there are several other small lacerations it seems you two have to finish your fight because you weren't able to fracture all ten fingers yet and you should still be able to move that arm of yours and just one glance he read all their damage that's good I made it just in time I'm glad I got here just as you two got started with your fight this dude is terrible talking about just as you got started <laughs> and both of them hear those words and I'm like what but he says what what is he saying? Those two are close to death, and yet to this man, they're just getting started? What's wrong with you two? Why ain't you fighting? Don't tell me you're done already. Is he blind? They've done enough. They both, they're both, Hanayama and Baki are looking at the ground like, have we not done anything? Man. So Yujiro yells, Sha! Scaring the audience. <laughs> that yanked Baki to his feet. It, it's enough, father. This isn't your fight. So Baki still hasn't looked up, but Yujiro has veins coming out of his head. He's excited. 
Hanayama says he's right. I'm not done fighting yet. What the? Of course you're not. That's the spirit. So Hanayama gets this. Look at his hand. It's done. It's done. Hanayama-san. So Hanayama leapt forward at Yujiro, who says, such an idiot. Hanayama, <laughs> goodness, jumped toward Yujiro, who spun around, dropped down, and hit Hanayama with a leg sweep to the front of both knees, breaking them, inverting like his legs are not supposed to bend that way this was rough seeing in the anime but in the manga it's even worse man especially since you can still clearly see his both his mangled hands ah, so he broke both this man's knees or shins either way ah, this leg looks horrible so that shocks Baki because his, his new friend is getting beat up by his dad aren't you just really cute this is what they call a Yakuza trick. Grabs Hanayama by his hair. Chapter 124. Ogre. So now we see Yujiro uh, in the military. Just bodying people. Still no weapons on him. Just, just bodying people. Is this really the 15 year old fighting Yakuza boss who I've heard so much about? Seems like nothing but a damn brat. Or was this a cheap copy? So man, Baki's watching poor Hanayama just get beaten by his ogre of a father. Yujiro reaches down, grabs this broken boy by the hair, picks him up. Look at these bones protruding out of his skin. Picks him up by his hair. He looks terrified. And he just swings him behind him. He just lifted the 160 kilogram Hanayama with one arm. What kind of power does he have? He throws Hanayama past Baki, forcing Baki out of the way. All right, I'll be your opponent. It's over with. This is the first moment that made me hate Yujiro. Because I'm like, it was clear that they were done. So why would you come in and try to continue fighting this dude who can't even stand? What's wrong? You wanted to fight, right? Hanayama slams this arm down. He's trying to get back up. He can't get on his legs. They're literally broken. He's trying to. His pride is forcing him to try. But he can't. Oh my god. So Yujiro's smiling as Baki's looking like he's trying not to cry watching his new friend try to continue fighting. Yujiro. So Baki leaps to his feet in Hanayama's defense before he can even get within range of Yujiro. Yujiro just backhands him. Knocked Baki out completely. His head falls limp, then the rest of his body as he just crashes back into the ground. His eyes glare over. It seems that the wings that came back to you stopped flapping. Goodness. So he said it seems like you didn't have quite enough strength left. What? So, are you still ready to keep going? Hanayama's like, is he seriously asking me to keep going? Boss! Hanayama yells, stay back! Well, you have the strongest being alive in front of you right now. And Hanayama's like, yes, this is my chance to really test myself, but you are already done. Yujiro says, you damn brat. And throws. I'm guessing a kick. I can't. There's a lot going on. Throws a kick, I think, and further breaks both. Well, he breaks both of Hanayama's arms. Golly. Let's see. Then reaches down, grabs him by the chin. Is this truly all you're capable of? Saying you wanted to beat me? Must have been a bad joke, right? And how'd that get back to Yujiro though? So Baki's trying to open his eyes to further witness what's happening. From the day I was born till this very day, there wasn't anyone who I couldn't take down with my strength. But this opponent is different. Way too different. Even if I were to wear full body armor against this man, there is just no way you can win. So it looks like this boss 
was going to try to help Hanayama by stabbing Yujiro. And Yujiro spun Hanayama's head around to meet Buddy's knife. So this dude just jammed his own knife through Hanayama's face, both cheeks. He really is a demon. Ogre. Boss. Ha, boss, boss, are you okay? Somebody, somebody call an ambulance. I'm sorry, boss. Boss. Oh, Baki can't get anything out. He's just on the ground bleeding. That was a complete waste of time. Yeah, man, you got there too late. Talking about right on time. They were both already done by their standards. You're the only one on the planet that fights like you. So you can't expect them to a 15 year old and a 13 year old to fight the way you do. Like that was just asinine to me. So now we're outside this mansion. And I'm guessing this is Baki's mother looking at the same opening image of the chapter. She licks this image. Fiending for Sir Yujiro. Chapter 125 at the Akezawa household. So she's still licking Yujiro's picture. Very detailed sequence. She got a tongue on her though, boy. She's left all this spit and saliva all over Yujiro's picture. She's standing here, was sitting here in this lingerie. She hears the door open, looks back, and Yujiro's standing in the door. Looking all super cool. She turns around, sees him, her face lights up. He looks pissed though. For you to come all the way here, she gets up, kicks off her heels, rushes over toward Yujiro in this fighting stance. She has her hands up. She slides over towards him, spins around, hits him with a, a roundhouse to the face. Then starts to hit him. She hit him with a punch to the chin and a bunch of melee punches to the face. Look at her face. Look how serious she looks. She looks awesome right now. If I was him, I'd be nothing but proud. She finally stops, reaches in, hugs him. Ah, Hanuma Yujiro. I love you. The man who is the strongest being alive. She wraps her hands around his head, gives him a kiss. He snatches her head away. You promised me something, didn't you? Then flicks her across the room. She falls into her little makeup chair thing. You were in charge of Baki's education. You would turn him into a man worthy of being called the son of Hanma Yujiro. I, I did. I did. I made sure to raise him just like you wanted. I got him the best coaches and the best facilities with the most up-to-date training you can imagine for the last three years. A first-rate coach, the best facilities, and the most up-to-date training methods. That is truly a woman's way of thinking on how to raise a strong child. Letting you raise him was a mistake. Next time, I will raise him as soon as he is one years old. So he's planning on just starting over. She reaches down, grabs this straight razor, steals her resolve. You see all the distortion around her, rushes back in toward him. Cocks back this straight razor, swings it at Yujiro. He turns around, snatches it from her. So now it's no longer in her hands. She's shocked, like, where'd it go? He took it by the blade, but in, like, the perfect spot to not cut himself. Throws it on the ground, grabs her by the hair, snatches her forward. That is some nice spirit you have there, huh? I wonder how such a sweet kid could have been born from a woman like you. <laughs> wow, what words. Brings her in, gives her a kiss of his own fruition. She's hanging off the ground. Pulls her away. On second thought, perhaps I will have to consume Baki the way you prepared him for me. Tears start to come to her eyes. What? I heard about it and read in the newspaper. There is no doubt about it. Hanayama Kaoru lost in a fight? Who, who did he lose to? Even if I tell you, you wouldn't believe me. There's no freaking way. So they told him that he lost to the great Hanma Yujiro. What a fight. What an end to an epic saga. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
please hit the thumbs up again i do apologize for the videos that had images that were out of order i'm just gonna have to find a different source but thanks for rocking with me to this point a lot of you have been here for quite some time and i do thank you please hit the thumbs up please leave a comment subscribe check the link in the description for the next video as well as the playlists please uh, check out grim games and hit the bell notification on both channels so you don't miss any future uploads Hope to see you next video, and as always, otaku for life. Oh, I'm tired of all this talk. I'm out.